definite integrals. You will find this on page 323 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Definite integrals. Integration can be used to find the area under a curve and volumes of various shapes. To do this, you will use definite integration, which is an extension of indefinite integrals you have been using up to now. Let us first understand what a definite integral represents by looking at the following example. Okay, if I integrate this, I will get this, where c is the arbitrary constant. It's called the indefinite integral of x squared because there's no limits with respect to x. If we integrate a function between two specific limits, say 6 and 3, we write it as, and it's always the further one we write on top, and the, the little bit shorter one we write there. Okay, x squared. So if it's on, let me roll aside, if it's on a number line, which is like this I want to show you. If it's on the number line, you will think of the number line. So if you think of the number line, there will be, let me just get my pen correct, there will be 6 and there will be 3. So this one, this one, we will write on top and this one we will write at the bottom. The method for evaluating this integral is, okay, we're still going to integrate plus c, but then we're going to substitute that 6 into the place of x. And then we're going to, subst and we're going to subtract by substituting the 3 in the place of x. But do you see what happens with the c's? They cancel out. And that's why the answer is just 63. So the c cancel out. So your process can be some. You don't have to write the c. I don't even think, I think in my final version, I will leave out that c. So you will just do that 6 and 3 and substitute. But know that the c was there, but it cancel out due to the fact that it's a definite integral. Okay, so if I this definite integral is called the definite integral of x squared with respect to x between the limits 3 and 6, a definite integral can be ta taken to, to be the area under a curve. So say for example that function, it was x to the power of 2, and, and say that was uh, 6 and 3, then it will represent that area. Okay, we will come later to that. Hence, we can write the, uh, uh, the evaluation of a definite integral as, okay, so we take this top one and we substitute that first. First, we write it like this, brackets, that square brackets, and then we substitute the top and then we substitute the bottom. Let's just move it up, 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 up. So the following rules for definite integrals will be will also be used. Okay, so if the k will just the, the constant will just move to the front, okay, it can it can even move to the front of the bracket after you do that. And at the end, after you substitute, you can just multiply it in. Uh, if you have the difference, the sum and difference, you will substitute it in the first function and then substitute it in the second function. Okay. Just take note that if I want to first write that value, do you see, first A, then B, then I must just put a negative in front. Do you see that two is swapped? And then this one, if I, if I say, say, okay, I want to show you again on a number line. Say this is my number line and I have my points um, and I can take even another color. So I have A, I have B, and I have C. So I'm, I'm, also, I'm telling you that area, then I'm telling you that area. But you can also just represent it as the area from, from there to there. Okay, so you can either work with it separately and then just add the two, or you can just substitute that one, the end, and then the beginning there. Okay, that's what it meant. Let's look at an example. So if I ask you to evaluate each of the following, now remember, in 
in indefinite integrals, we were getting another function. But in definite integrals, we will get a value. And we said it in a previous video. Okay, but let's look. Say if there's only a constant, can you remember the x? And then we just substitute and we get 12. Uh, just first do your integration. Uh, so take it out of the root. Then I took it out. Then I do my integration. And always that square brackets with this one on top. The, the, it's the ending point and then this one at the bottom the starting point and then I'm basically just going to I just simplified that and then I'm just going to substitute and I get my answer so just always remember your rules of integration first divide so first get this and then I can integrate and then the final step I will substitute and always remember to put that in brackets because that negative can influence that value there can you see a negative times a negative will then become a positive okay I want you to stop the video and I want you to do okay I'm going to do so many so it's not necessary that we do too many okay, let's do a constant and then we can, I just want to move it still up a little bit. Uh, then we can, I will make it a little bit bigger. Because this exponent is a bit small sometimes and you struggle to see it. Okay, so let's do A. And then we can do, uh, we can do, uh, yes, and E and F. And uh, you can continue the video as soon as you are finish okay i'm just going to see if i can work in this space otherwise i will make it smaller again okay i think you already wrote it down so i'm going to make it smaller when we start doing it okay let's start with number a so if i'm looking at number a it's a definite integral do you see I just want to show you it's one of the technical I pick it up when I'm doing the videos there I should have also wrote dx I will write it in the final version because I didn't integrate yet there I integrated okay okay so let's just go on so if I'm going to do this one I'm just going to say make that square brackets integrate so it's 2x close top bottom okay and then I'm going to just substitute that 4, and I substitute that 1, and that's going to be 8 minus 2, and the answer is going to be 6. Let's first leave out the area, we'll come to that. Okay, then I'm going to do number E, and let's just see that, that small numbers I write correctly. So that was 16, and that was 1, can you see? And then it was 2 over x root 4 okay dx now get it first get it ready um so to integrate so if it's 2 that's that's going to be a quarter so if i bring it up it's going to be negative a quarter do you see that okay and don't forget oh, that pen dx I'm integrating to x okay now I integrate so I can make my brackets and then remember it's 2x so can I just show you here it's minus a quarter plus remember it's integration so I add so it's three quarters and I divide by that three quarters and that will be 16 and 1 and now I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal and again I'm, I'm just showing you here you can do it in one step multiply that that will then give me 8 over 3 it's better to simplify it first before you do the sub and then it's also good um, to write that it's the fourth root and it's to the power of 3 but you can leave it also as that fraction so x to the power of 3 and it's going to be 16 and 1 okay and now I'm just going to substitute so I'm going to get 8 over 3 and this is the fourth root and in the place I'm first going to put 16 to the power of 3 okay 
minus 8 over 3, um, 1, 3, 4. Okay, that is a nice one because that is just going to give you that. So let's just see 16 to the power of 3. That's 4096. And if I take the fourth root, let's just see. Uh, okay. But the, that answer, after I simplify it, it's just going to become, I just want to quickly check, check if it's not better to do it like that. Four shift root. Okay. This is going to just become, let me just move this. I think, I think if you struggle to press this on your calculator, see if it's not better to press this on your calculator. And if you press this on your calculator, it's easier, I think. So it's bracket 16 close the bracket to the power and then I prefer to put a bracket again 3 divide 4 close the bracket equals and that's giving you 8 so multiply 8 ABC 3 and it was giving you it actually gave me the same answer the previous one 21 and 1 third so if you press that fourth root Six, uh, bracket 16 to the power of 3 close the bracket multiply you will get the same uh, this is nice because it's just going to give me that 8 over 3 because that's just going to become 1 and if I simplify that I'm going to get let's just get that out of the way I'm going to get 18 and 2 thirds that is going to be my final answer. Okay, let's do the last one. Mm, I'm just going to make space. Okay, that's going to be number F. Now I want to take another color. Let's make it green. F, and what was number F? It's a bit a longer one. Let's just move it a little bit up. Okay. I can see it. So there's the integral. And that is going to be, uh, let's just see, it's going to be 4 and 2. And it's going to be 2x squared minus 6 over x squared dx. Now, don't forget that you first have to simplify this. So keep your integral. And then if you divide that, you see the x, so it's just going to be 2. That's nice. And that's going to be, I, I bring this, you see, you divide, so it's coming up. That's better. Now I can integrate. Okay, if you integrate, you always do this for definite integrals, this bracket. Then you're just going to put that x minus 6x, it's negative 1, divide by negative 1, and it's going to be to 4 and 2. Okay, so that is going to be 2x plus 6 over x. And now I'm going to substitute. I'm first going to substitute. I, I, I prefer if there's more than one to put a bracket. So 2, 4 plus 6 over 4 minus 2, 2 plus 6 over 2. And that's going to give me then that 9 and a half, this bracket minus that is just going that's three plus four that's just seven and the final answer will be two and a half and that's how you do it